Ms. Crofton, um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my college journey. I went to two colleges. I went to Westmont College in Santa Barbara for three years, and I graduated with a bachelor's in history for secondary education. And then I went back home to live with my family for a year when I was student teaching, and I attended the master's university where I received my teaching credential. A couple of things that I did to prepare for college while I was in high school is I took AP classes. I took quite a few. I took three history classes, a science class, two literature classes, and a calculus class. So when I had finished high school, I was unit-wise a sophomore when I started college and was able to get rid of a whole year of school, which was great since I was paying for it by myself. Then I also prepared by going to summer school where I took health, econ, and government. And this just helped alleviate some of the stress while I was in high school by having less classes to worry about when it came to my A through G requirements. And then I took prep tests like the SAT and the ACT, and I took them both, I believe, twice in order to get the best score. So I had a chance at getting academic scholarships and to prepare me for the rigors of college. So I didn't always know that I wanted to be a teacher. I knew when I started college, that was what I wanted to do. I was just unsure about what grade level and subject I wanted to teach. Um, and most of the reasons that I wanted to become a teacher and I chose history were my own history teachers, Mr. Klipfeld and Mr. Miller. They were a huge part of my high school career. They were my teachers in really challenging classes, but also spent time learning about me. At the same time, when I was their student, I also was planning on getting a swim scholarship and due to an injury, I wasn't able to follow that path. So they both helped me get academic scholarships and awards to strengthen my applications. And then I had an English teacher, Mr. Del Rio, who helped me through that transition as well. He was there to listen to me as I was going through and talking through those challenges. And I chose history out of all the subjects because I just simply love the subject. And I always have feel, felt really drawn to learning about humanities and the people around me. And I just enjoy studying the past because I think it allows us to avoid mistakes of the past and help us solve current and future problems. The biggest lesson I learned in college was definitely how important it is to have a support network. My group of friends in my major were my best friends. We would spend nights together studying in the library till two in the morning. We would go and celebrate after exams that were really hard. Um, we had just a really great camaraderie. And then I also reached out and for mentorship from my professors and former educators. I still call Mr. Miller when I need help um, because he is a great mentor to me and ask them about questions for my education and my career. Here are some pictures of me from college. Um, you can see that I graduated with a really big group of history majors and we were just best, best friends. Now my school doesn't have a fight song, but we did have an event called Spring Sing where we would rent out the Santa Barbara Bowl and put on skits. So I thought I would play a clip from it. I know that that is cringy, but we spent about three months rehearsing and it was the best. And we won that year, so I was so proud of my team.